Hello friends and welcome back to my channel JS Lab. So in the previous videos we have seen uh, different data types like matrices, arrays, vectors and list how they need to be assigned. In this video we will see the next data type uh, the next object in R which is data frames. So data frames are very important while doing data analysis. So first of all what is data frame? So the data frame is a table or a two dimensional array like structure in which each column contains value of one variable and each row contains one set of values. This is data frame. This is the usage. Okay, so we'll uh, see this one with, with some example. So we'll create a data frame of some uh, information about some students in the class. So I'll give the name as name of the variable as stud.data, okay, student data. And I'm going to create a data frame, data.frame. So in this student data, I am going to give a student ID, student name, their age and their marks. So for that, first of all, student ID, student ID equal to a, a vector. So it is from one to four. So I'm creating four students, one to four, it's one, two, three, four. Then student name, student name equal to, it is a character. So I'll give names like Tom, Jerry, Arun, Joseph. Now the next one is their age. Age equal to, I'll give the age as 25, 21, 22, 21, and 23. And also their marks. Marks out of 100 is equal to 90, 85, 77, and 92. Now if I enter this one, now on the right side top you can see a stood dot that variable is created. So I will print that one, stood dot data. If I print that one, I can see student ID, one, two, three, four, student name, age, marks. So we will recollect our definition. It is a two dimension array in which each column contains values of one variable. So you can see first variable is student ID, it contains student ID values. Second one, student name. It contains the student name values in character, then age and mark. The data stored in a data frame can be numeric, factors or character. Here you can see we have used numeric and character. You can use factors as well. Then each column should contain same number of data items. So since the first column contains four data items, so second and third and fourth column also should contain four number of data next one is now we have created we have created a data frame now we, we are interested in uh, for, uh, seeing the structure of the data frame so for that you can use str function str of stood dot data so you'll get the structure of the data that we have created that is four observations of four variables so you can see four observations one two three four four observations and four variables student id student name age and marks four variables and also if you take student id you can see it is of integer type and another one is second one student name it is of character type age and marks is of number type okay so that, that is how you uh, find the structure of the data that you have created now we can also see the summary of the data in our data frame what is the summary of the data in our data frame for so that you can use summary summary of stood data so it will give the summary of all the variables in that so here first one is student id student id so what is the minimum value which is one what is the first quantile it is 1.75 that is a statistical term what is the median of the of that column 2.5 what is the mean of that column 2.5 what is the third quantile quartile it is 3.25 what is the maximum value 4 okay so all the information about the student id is displayed here the same way uh, since it is a character and uh, all these things will not be there in the student name but age you can see the thing minimum maximum everything is there for marks also it is given so summary provides you this much detail print the data again student data now i need to extract only the student name from this one i, I am interested only in the student name so what I can do is how to uh, I can extract that one from this data frame using dollar symbol stood dot data then put the dollar symbol 
and then type the column name which variable you need i need to name student name and put enter so all the student name is entered if i am interested in age put age age okay so the age will be displayed only so that you can extract the column the entire column now if you are interested in two columns that means if you want only if you want student id and student name then you can go for stud dot data no you cannot use this you need to provide a data frame data frame data dot frame data dot frame then you copy this one i made a mistake okay now it is been created so you need to provide a data frame or if you want if you are interested in two calls so now i have introduced data frame and inside that one student dot data id and student dot data student name so that's the student id and student name has been printed now if i need to uh, extract first two rows first two rows then i can go for student dot data one to two first two rows and comma space that means the entire column so you can see this one. first two rows are um, first two rows and all the columns first two rows and all the columns have been displayed now i am interested in extracting first and third row with second and fourth column okay first i need first and third column third row with second and fourth column for that what i can do is stood dot data first and third row first and third row so uh, row wise information i have given then second and fourth column now see this first and third column plus second and fourth column has been displayed so this is how you can extract values according to your need okay so this is very this is very this will be very useful while doing the data analysis part because uh, you may be interested in uh, some variables uh, some part of the variables some rows some columns so you can uh, use this technique for the for extracting the data in the data frame now suppose you want to add uh, one more column to the existing data frame for example here i am going to add department of each student for that i can what i can do is you type the student data that is a variable name then type the name of the variable that you need to add then give the values of that one means for example i am giving is our first person is from it second person is from mechanical third person is from electrical and the fourth person is from computer science okay oh, the fourth person is from computer science so if i so here student dot data that is a that is our variable into that i put dollar sign and department that means you are going to add a one more uh, column to the data so if i put enter it has been created we will check stood dot data you can see you can see the department this is one column has been added so this is how you can expand the data frame by adding one or more columns now what about adding rows to add more rows permanently you need to use r bind function that also we will see for that so here all the students are boys okay. so we will uh, type some girls details to dot girls girls in the class girls girls in the college we will uh, create data frame data dot frame data dot frame say that one first one student id student id student id is equal to uh, I, I will be taking only one uh, we are one two three four we have used so five to six okay only two students are there okay two students are there two student details are there then student name student name equal to right any two name okay two names then what is our age 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 is equal to c of 22 21 then their mark marks c of for example 85 and 90 and their department department equal to okay they're from it and cs now we have created a data frame new data frame so we'll print that one student dot girls okay so two students 
two students and our old one two dot data okay this is the boys list and girls list so what we need to do is we need to combine these two we need to add these two rows to this uh, our original data for that you, you can use r bind function so, so what uh, we'll put uh, name the total students total total student data total student data okay is equal to r bind here we are going to r bind function that means you are going to uh, join these two uh, this one in row wise so first one is stud dot data and comma stud dot girls okay so you are going to bind these two and to create a new data frame it has been created a total so we will print that total student data we put enter you can see first four and uh, another two has been added so we want to uh, so you can join these two uh, rows so now we have seen how to add one column if you need on the go and also you can combine two data frames in row wise using r bind function so it forms a so total student data it represents a full data so that's all about introduction to data frames so more about this data frames we'll see when we do the data analysis video so in this video we have seen introduction to data frame how to create a data frame how to find the structure of the data frame how to find the summary of the data frame how to extract various values from a data frame how to create a new column in a or a new variable in a data frame and how to add rows also to the data frame using r bind function if you have any comments or suggestions about my videos please comment in the comment section if you like my videos please subscribe my channel for more videos so we will see you in a future video bye thank you